Welcome on Cool Paradigm. Stay on the buckwheat bread topic. Do you know that we can use flakes directly from the output of a grain flaker to make bread almost exactly like we make it with buckwheat flour? The only difference is that we may need a tiny bit more of the homemade flour because external parts of the seeds may not absorb as much water or milk than the inside of the seeds. And a huge advantage of this home grinding paradigm, we are sure to have a 100% whole grain flour and we can even check before if the seeds can sprout. By the way, germinated buckwheat seeds are delicious. Back to the flaker. To grind 500 grams and even a bit more to be sure to have enough, maybe a bit tedious by hand. So it's of course possible to use an electrical model. Practically, handheld powered flakers are of course much faster for small quantities. The model being used here is excellent to grind lead seeds. And once again, we can check before if the lead seeds are able to germinate, which is the best guarantee of freshness and allows to have extra fresh omega-3. Back to backwood grinding. It took about 7 minutes for 650 grams, but it's really better with some music while uh, switching hands and considering it like a warm-up for the more serious exercises. By the way, images have been accelerated to improve the digestion of the whole process. Uh, I hope it went well. General remarks about this trial. Because the ball is quite deep, it was necessary to fix the flaker on a higher support with a clamp. And with buckwheat grains, we always get a bit of flour on the base of the flaker. So to avoid wasting, it's possible to insert a piece of paper between the grinder and its base to recover most of it. One more thing, if you have an electrical flaker and wish to try it with 500 grams or more of buckwheat grains, I'll be keen to know how long it takes. Thank you for watching.